at grade one in uh, the Trinity acoustic guitar repertoire of songs given, uh, the Sailor's Hornpipe is one that stands out. And I would like to do a short lesson on this particular tune. Now, for Sailor's Hornpipe, you start out in the first position. So when I say first position, what it means is that you're in, how your index finger is in the first fret. That's what it means to be in the first position. And over here you start with this G note and here you play 3, 2, 3 and those are pickup notes and then this is followed with the third string open okay so 3, 2, 3, 0, 0 and then you have this 3, 1, 0, 2 this D, C, B And then follow this with 0, 3, 3, that's B, D, G. And if you notice, I'm using my middle finger and my ring finger to play the D and the G note, right? You could also roll, some people like to roll like that, uh, but it's completely up to you. So this is your first phrase. Now, after you get through this first phrase, it's always a good idea to repeat, okay? When you can play something one time, uh, that doesn't really mean that you know it. So it's always a good idea to play it or repeat it at least uh, five times in a row and make sure that every iteration of it is correct. Uh, now, you follow this with uh, the second phrase. Now, for the second phrase, you need to slide up to the second fret now because you're going to be in second position. How? Even though the, uh, the sheet music doesn't mention this change in position, if you look at the fingering given, they want you to play this F sharp note with the index finger, which clearly, mention, uh, clearly means that you're in second position. So you go ahead and play. So that's two, three, five, two. It's good to learn those in 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 those groupings because then you'll be able to get the phrase correct. So okay, now together that should sound like this. So now after you get uh, get this, you can move on to the next line. Okay, let me help. Uh, okay, one second. Now, at the end of your first line, you have two notes. You have a 0, 2 on the first string. So you have to keep that in mind. That is where your third phrase kind of begins. Now, this third phrase is a sequence. Now, the sequence over here after this 0, 2 is like kind of a four note sequence. And they're all scaling. So, okay, this is your sequence, it's in force, and uh, this is followed by a little little kind of bar uh, where the notes are going up in thirds where you go two zero four two zero zero two one and followed by second string open third string open so again the sequence
sequence 0 2 3 2 0 3 0 3 1 0 so that you can put your ring finger on the 4th fret of the 4th string and then you have 2, 0, 4, 2 and again you shift 0, 0 for 2, 1 and then 0, 0, 0 so together this should sound like this your second line now at the end of the second line you see again there is a 3 1 and this 3 1 kind of starts your next phrase okay so let's go down and make sure we are aligned okay yes let me scroll down a bit more okay okay so now uh, here you get an interesting little idea so after you play this 3 1 you have this 0 3 3 your your uh, 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 this is your phrase in the first position so again now you need to go to the second position for the next phrase where you play zero two and then two zero five zero two together okay and then after this you just have to remember one new phrase uh, and you can see that phrase is starting with this one zero on the second string okay so we're back and so you have this one zero that's at the end and followed with one zero one three okay and then this goes into the same sequence as your as your second line So once from the beginning, 